Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Now, uh, this is going to be um, another horror movie review. Um, because I want to talk about uh, a movie uh, that I watched uh, just the other night on Shudder. Um, it's a movie from 2022 and that movie is called The Cellar. Now, this was um, written, written and directed by Brendan Muldowney and it stars Elisha Cuthbert and Eowyn Mackin. Right, so uh, this movie, uh, it basically tells the story of uh, this family whose daughter um, disappears in the cellar of this uh, big big house, uh, what they bought in the Irish countryside. Um, yeah, they just moved into it and that, and uh, the mother's doing like uh, night work and that, and she gets a call from her daughter to say, uh, you know, that she from a door so that she's gone down to the cellar uh, and then basically um she basically just vanishes you know and uh, nobody knows uh, where she's gone to and that you know so um so as the film progresses it turns out uh well the mother eventually learns uh, that, that there's an ancient an ancient and powerful evil holding sway uh, you know over the new home uh, now uh, this entity it's somehow related to a uh, leviathan and a uh, baphomet um, both of which are pagan deities, you know, associated with the occult. Been mentioned many, many times in uh, books on the occult. Uh, so uh, the mother um, consults uh, an expert, you know, on uh, demonology and that, and uh, and he advises that, you know, uh, and it's and apparently without giving too much away, apparently it concerns um, the house is sort of like a portal, basically, especially the cellar to another dimension. Uh, so basically, uh, all hell breaks loose literally from there. Yeah. All right then, guys. We'll leave it there. I don't want to give away too much of the movie. Uh, now, on to my thoughts um, on the movie as a whole. Uh, I thought it was a pretty average, uh, you know, occult, uh, occult, uh, supernatural movie. Um, I thought it was quite slow in parts. You know, the movie did take time to sort of like uh, really get into gear in terms of like action and that and thrills and chills and that. Um, it's got a, a couple of the uh, horror movie tropes, you know, what we've become familiar with. You know, the, the ball bouncing, bouncing down the stairs, apparently of its own volition. Strange images and noises experienced experience in the house. A uh, couple of the family members starting to act strangely as if they've been taken over. You know, uh, tropes what we've seen again and again in other, in other, in other similar uh, horror movies. Um, but I must say it does, build, it does actually build up to a terrifying... Uh, quite sure drop and climax uh, and I'll, but i'll leave it there i don't want to get as i say, don't want to give any more away of the movie um oh i must warn you um if you're not really into your maths there is a, there, there is a lot of counting in this movie you know it's because it's all it's, it, it concerns this code or something and um, what you count you count uh, so many times uh, and apparently um that is like that's like well without giving too much away that's kind of a catalyst to this other other port or this other dimension that's it's in the house and that so it's all to do with this code and that and the family trying to decipher it and that um I, I, at first the father's a little bit cynical about about all this and that you know but as 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 the movie goes on he comes to see uh, the mother's point of view and that you know uh, that there is something very very odd going on in this house and that you know um and apparently it's got a bit of a dark history as well, you know, because there's other people that disappeared in the house previously, yeah. Yeah, but I say leave it at there, uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, it was quite an average, average, it was quite an average uh, supernatural movie, nothing great, but then it wasn't really a bad movie. But I thought to myself, with a little bit of tweaking here and there, especially in terms of pace, it could have been a so much better movie, you know, Um the actors were all good on that, you know. Uh, I could give a couple of the stupid decisions what they made, like for instance, going down to a dark and cellar after all what had happened and that, you know. Uh, and it basically just staying in the house and seeing it through, uh, you know, in the hope that they can sort of like overcome this power, this uh, uh, ancient evil, its power. Um, but yeah, very very atmospheric movie, uh, you know. And if you like a good haunted house movie. Uh, and uh, you know a good occult movie. I think you will enjoy um, the cellar. As I say, I watched it on Shudder, Shudder the other night. Yeah. So um, all right then, guys. So uh, on to a rating now. I'm going to give this the cellar a six out of ten. And as I say, it wasn't a great movie, but then again, it wasn't a bad movie. And a nice, just nice. I'd eventually add the Blu-ray to my collection. Yeah, because I think I could watch it again after a couple of months and that. You know, because I, you know, so it's like the second on second view, and sometimes you. 
you, you can pick up things what you've missed on, on, on the first view and so that's the kind of movie it is all to do with this puzzle and that you know and other dimensions and that and um, kind of when you think about it like it's a kind of Lovecraftian movie because he dealt with um he, he some of his stories dealt with like uh, math mathematics and you know and spaces and that you know other dimensions and that quite similar to, to dreams in the witch house if I, if if I've ever read that story, that deals with like mathematics and like another dimensions and that. So yeah, it was very 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 reminiscent of Dreams in the Witch House, yeah. Which of course that that notorious rat rat hybrid bound Jenkin, didn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. So uh, yeah, so as I say, um, it wasn't a bad little movie, but it wasn't a great movie. I've seen better movies than that, but um, yeah. So as I say, if you like if you like a good American supernatural horror movie, I think you you know I think you might enjoy. Um, the cell. It was very well directed and that, you know, yeah. But I must say, all you know, the 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 there the were quite a few dark scenes in it. And, you know, it, I, as you know, if you've been watching my videos, I don't like a lot of dark scenes in a movie, you know, um, because, like, uh, being a big fan of Hammer and Amicus and all the lovely colour in those horror movies, you know, I think they should I think they should do a bit more in terms of making the, the horror movies more colourful, you know, in, in, in this day and age and that. But, uh, yeah, as I say, it, it wasn't it wasn't a bad little movie in that. You know, as I say, I could, I could revisit it again, you know, um, sometime in the near future. Uh, but as I say, get your abacuses ready, guys, because there is a lot of counting in it. Yeah, yeah. All right, then, guys. Well, that concludes my review of The Cellar uh, from 2022. Have you seen The Cellar? What did you think of it? Did you like it? Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave, leave them down below, yeah? Um, and as I say, the usual, if you like this video, uh, you know, uh, please feel free to share, subscribe, comment. And uh, all going well. I'll talk to you all again soon. Yeah. Thanks very much. Uh, yeah, oh, I tried to stay cool in this oh, it's awful hot weather. Oh, and we've got another week or two of it. Oh. All right then, guys. See ya. Take care.